Okay guys, sometimes Junior's gonna have his head across and he may film me trying to cross face him and he may turn and look at that arm or he might just be looking at my feet. If his head is turned towards me, it's super easy to cross face him to the other side. But just body dynamic wise, if his head turns and looks at my feet, it's hard to cross face him to the other side. And honestly, I might hurt him and I don't wanna hurt him, he's my training partner. So if he's for whatever reason, looking towards my feet, burying his head close, I, I don't want to try to cross face and rip his head back to the other side. In that case, I'm just going to use where his head's looking and I'm going to go to where he's looking. You're going to see me secure his wrist near his head first and push that between my legs. And then I'm going to go to a reverse triangle. Okay. The, the, the idea of this instructional is not necessarily finishes from that position. So I might show one or two real quick, but we're not going to get deep in the weeds on those. The idea is to be able to escape side control bottom for the whole instructional. Junior's got top side control bottom. He's got it in side position and he's turned and he's looking this direction. I'm going to get on my hip or just find this wrist. If Junior's trying to control my wrist, go ahead. I'm going to do a wrist break and get wrist control. Super common for him to be under hooks. Or as I start to dig here, he'll grab my wrist. I'm gonna grab his wrist. I'm gonna shove his wrist between my legs, and then I'm gonna shove his head between my legs. The finishes here for triangle can vary depending on what instructional you watch. I'll probably show uh, finishes another day. I just wanna show, so, but let's show how I would use that to scramble out, okay? Because that's the purpose of this instructional. He's got a good control position on me, or hand fighting, I get his arm stuck. Whether I get wrist control and I go here, that's fine. Then I windshield wipe and I trap his arm with my top side leg. Then I turn and I sit and I reach. Once I have this, this hand is gonna go inside. Let's turn, Jim, so your head is to the camera. Your head is to the camera. Head, 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 even a little bit more about right here. So guys, I've gotten to here. This hand goes inside the hip and I push away. Now, for purposes of this, I'm just gonna go back to a guard. But obviously there, come back, triangle, reverse triangle. Obviously, turn, turn, turn. So then you see this arm, turn. I can attack this arm as well with finishes. Okay, there's a lot of stuff I could do here. For purposes of what we're doing today, I'm just gonna get control and get back to here. So let's do another one where you guys watch um, with my head to the camera. He turns, he faces, okay? I'm gonna hand fight. What, how long it takes, I don't care. I'm trying to rip his head, I'm trying to do different things. I get a hold of his wrist. Trap, trap, punch, top side foot down, pinching my knees. Now I'm gonna take his head, I like to swim for an underhook here, and I'm going to push his head and hip out. And I can even get here and start to come across. He's going to withdraw, and we're going to end up with him in my guard now as opposed to him side control top. Let's do that without talking uh, with my head towards the camera. We'll do it one more time without talking. So we're using that reverse triangle for us to get back into uh, back into uh, a guard position or escape basically side control. <laughs> 